This summer I spent some time in Montana with a prepper friend of mine. He has a beautiful garden and greenhouse. So uh, we worked in the garden, we worked in the greenhouse, we um, cooked with all of the great produce, and he just finished canning and has sent me samples of everything. So let's check it out. I got into the house and started unboxing and opening and un, um, unwrapping. And I'm going to tell you right now, in all my life, I have never gotten a more beautiful gift box. Never. Absolutely gorgeous, full of items for the kitchen and things he's canned. This is a friend I've had for many, many years. We have known each other for many years. And um, this is such a sweet, kind thing for him to do. So let's get started. <laughs> The first thing I saw when I opened uh, the box was the with these beautiful cutting mats. He had these at his house. It's a set of four different colors. Just lovely. I'm really looking forward to trying them out. <laughs> he also sent me along with that a very beautiful scraper for scraping up dough or extra vegetables or whatever on the cutting boards. And he sent me this very nice um, garlic peel remover you put the clove of garlic in there and you kind of massage it and all the paper the papery stuff on the garlic just comes right off so this is great <laughs> he also sent me one of these dish drainers um well, actually it's a pasta drainer you put it on your pot and pour it out and all the pasta stays back here and the water comes out i usually use a colander to uh, catch pasta and things i've boiled but i don't have to anymore so it's going to save me a dish and uh it's very nice <laughs> as opposed to me he has a very gourmet kitchen gourmet appliances gourmet dishes everything is top-notch it was so much fun uh, cooking there a week but one of the things he really swears by are these uh, bamboo utensils so I asked about them and he sent me a whole pack <laughs> there's these like paddles and then it looks like there's something there with like uh, for a fork maybe it's a salad thing or for tossing so there's a there's six of them in here, and I'm looking forward to giving them a try. I do have one, but I don't have six. <laughs> he sent me some items for avocados because he knows I like avocados. So one of them is this three-in-one avocado slicer. I've actually never used these. I've seen them in the store, so I'm going to have to read the directions and see what happens. I think you can pull the, the pit out and uh, slice it any way you want, but I'll have, to, I'll have to check that out. He also sent this, which is like a silicone... Um, avocado cover so if you uh, cut the avocado in half this fits neatly over it with space for the um for the pit and doesn't take any room in your refrigerator right now i'm storing my uh, cut avocados in a i have a glass jar with an airtight lid and that door is pretty good but this is going to be fantastic also sent a package of five of these um like silicone type lids and you can put them it shows here on the back you can put them on top of uh, cups or on you know on top of fruits and vegetables or whatever you want i usually end up with a lot of half onions and half uh, lemons in my refrigerator so that problem has just been solved and it's nice to have this option also for um you know jars or or cups or whatever he also sent me these absolutely gorgeous salt and pepper shakers i mean they're like something out of the industrial age <laughs> I just got some stuff at Safeway, you know, so this one he filled with peppers. He really likes peppercorns and the salt, the salt, you know, it's a salt, uh, salt mill. And this actually has, um, you can de decide how, how great a grain you want to, um, grind things into. So I'm interested in seeing how that all works. He, as I said, he had these at his house and we used them, but especially the nice pepper, cause I don't really have nice pepper. I just have cheap pepper. <laughs> And I know good pepper makes a big difference sometimes, so I'm looking forward to getting getting started with this. <laughs> Evidently, he wasn't crazy about how I served uh, olive oil and balsamic vinegar <laughs> when he was last year, about a year and a half ago. Um, I just serve him right out of the bottle. So he sent me this beautiful set um, of, uh, of containers here. So one's for balsamic vinegar and one is for uh, olive oil. We also ate dinner. He was here a couple of days. We also ate dinner at the table with the sewing machine because I was in the middle of a project. We lead very different lives. When I was heading out to visit him, he asked me if there were anything, you know, I wanted him to have ready. So I said, I drink black tea every morning. He's a coffee drinker. I drink black tea anymore every morning. So if you have black tea there, I'll be happy. So we had 
several different brands, varieties of black tea, which were all great. And then what do you know, he sent me some black tea. So he sent me this um, Republic of Tea um, British breakfast. I usually drink um, English breakfast, which I love. So this is, I guess, something similar, maybe slightly different. I'm looking forward to trying it and seeing how that works. I believe there are 50, 50 bags in here, 50 cups. So this will be kind of fun. He also sent me this um, classic English breakfast. I think there's 20 tea bags, but they don't call it tea bags. They call it tea sachets. <laughs> They're in this lovely tin, which is uh, uh, as exciting to me as the tea inside. This is a great tin. I'll find something to do with it in, um, in the kitchen. It's just great. Great size. It's real nice. <laughs> we had this delicious cucumber um, salad with cucumbers he grew on the property and he used this seasoning mix. Now he was able to get this at Cost Plus uh, near where he lives in the city, but I went to Cost Plus, the nearest Cost Plus to me, and they didn't have anything like this. So he made sure I got, uh, I guess this is a set of five packets and I'm looking forward to growing my Armenian uh, cucumbers again this, um, this summer and trying them with this. It was really good. And speaking of growing, he had a couple different varieties of tomatoes, but the best were these Italian heirloom. They were absolutely delicious. They grew beautifully. So he sent me a starter pack of seeds here because uh, he knows I like to garden. So hopefully I can get the same great results he did. We use those, um, those tomatoes for everything, for sauces, for quiches, for everything. Uh, salads, soup, they were just so good. These are really nice uh, tomatoes. So if you are looking for a good tomato, this uh, Italian heirloom is a great one. So let's get to what he canned and uh, created on the property there. He has a beehive, so he sent me his the first honey of the season and of his life. He just got the beehives uh, earlier this year, so I'm going to have to try that out. <laughs> Two containers of peach jam and uh, a container of um, peach pie filling. Homegrown pickles. <laughs> Looking forward to those. Two jars of uh, strawberry jam. We actually put some knitting over the strawberries when I was there to keep the birds out. So he took the strawberries and made some jam. It's the first time he's made jam, so I'm gonna give it a try. I'm sure it's wonderful. Homemade pasta sauce with that uh, Italian heirloom, those tomatoes. I'm looking forward to trying this. And four different sauces for enchiladas, burritos. He sent me two of these sauces, the tomatilla sauces and two salsas. Again, all of these were things he grew, grew on the property. And finally, he didn't grow this on the property, but he sent me a jar of huckleberry, huckleberry jam. I've been to Montana several times, and usually when I go there, I'm in search of the perfect uh, huckleberry pie. <laughs> I have found it. But um, this time I forgot to even look into it. I don't know, maybe it was out of season, or I just wasn't thinking of it, but I did mention it, and so he sent, the, um, he sent me some jam. So maybe I'll make a pie out of these. At the very least, I'll enjoy having it on a toast or whatever. This stuff is very good. So that was a very huge gift box. I, I got got it here. I opened it about halfway through. I picked up the phone and called him to see if he had lost his mind. Um, he had not. <laughs> I thought I've never got anything. This is beautiful. Uh, we chatted for a while, then my phone went out, and then I went up the hill to see my neighbor for a while and then I came back and then continued unwrapping and called him back. <laughs> what do you say about that? It's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. It's totally heartwarming. As I say, this is a long-term friendship and this is absolutely the kindest, um, kindest thing that could have ever been. Everything is so useful and so, um, a lot of it I don't have, I've never even seen before, but, um, I'm, I'm totally excited about using it, especially about trying these items because I was there and we, we were fooling around in the garden and all that stuff. So I'm interested in seeing how, how he does. He is a very good cook and I've tried some of his canned goods when I was there from the year before. So I'm sure these will be wonderful. I hope you are all having a wonderful, wonderful season and uh, full of nice surprises and good friends and happy times. <laughs> I want to wish you all the best for Christmas and thank you so much for watching.